Every single year, without fail, Parashat Varim, the book of Dvarim, immediately precedes, on the Shabbat, precedes Tisha B'Av, always, Parashat Chazon of the Torah. And there is a very deep connection between the beginning of this parasha and Tisha B'Av and what we need to do to Bezrat Hashem facilitate the rebuilding of the temple. So much so that, in fact, one of the first psukim in the parasha starts with the word Eicha, and we sing it in the same tune as Eicha. Eicha ucha levadi. How can it be, says Moshe Rabbeinu, that I can put up, that I've had to put up with your troubles and your burdensome, your burdensomeness and, your, and how cumbersome you are? And then he goes on to explain that cumbersomeness. And it's reading exactly the same tune. But the Sephorna, Rabbi Avadia Sephorna, one of the great Italian medieval commentators, says something about the, the first parasha, which is remarkable. Incredibly, what is the first main topic that Moshe Rabbeinu chooses to recount to the generation that's about to go into the, to, 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 to the land? Incredibly, he recalls the advice of his father-in-law Yitro, which says that he will crumble under, under the pressure of judging on his own and he should bring a whole judicial system and lots of other judges. Sari Alafim, judges of thousands, hundreds, etc. Says this far, and I don't understand. This is what you choose to focus on of all of the things to begin your speech and with a level of, of rebuke. After all, Moshe Rabbeinu accepted the advice of his father-in-law. What is so bad about that? That's how you begin? And unbelievably says the Sforna something remarkable. I couldn't believe it when I read it. So brilliant. He says as follows. He says, how is it that the Jewish people went from having one judge, Moshe Rabbeinu, to having every 10 people having a judge? It says, Sarei Alafim, judge for thousands, Sarei Meot, for hundreds, Sarei Chamishim, but Sarei Asara, every 10 people needed a judge. That means every little cul-de-sac, every couple of neighbors, two or three families needed their own judge. With a squabble so deep that people argued about everything. Listen to what the Sforna says. I'm going to read you the Lashon of the Sforna. He says, Ad shekol hayud ladayan prati. Basically, every ten needed their own private full-time judge. This shows that something is wrong. When people argue about everything. When people can't allow the other person to win. When people will be what I call the litigation nation. Non-stop taking people to court. And getting stuck in the courts and never wanting to resolve issues boy oh boy and you keep the courts so busy there's something wrong with your with, with you and your inability to get on other people and it's what rashi says rashi quotes the midrash which says that as people were seeing that they were losing in a court case they would bring more witnesses they would bring more evidence and ask to go to higher courts and to appeal that people would never ever lose rather destroy relationships they get on with each other. And I want to end and say, so many of the sources of Chazal talk about that the, the, the cause of destruction being Sinat Chinam causes hatred, or that people couldn't get on with each other and didn't go beyond the letter of the law to make compromises and, and accept other people. And this is what we need to do. And that's why it's read before Tisha B'Av. May we all, Bezrat Hashem, put, as I always say, the person, the individual, the relationship before all of our own truths and our own Ikronic principles. And may we all, Bezrat Hashem, as we put, our relationships and getting on with people before everything else, Bezrat Hashem, so many other things will fall into place. And ultimately, the Beit HaMikdash is the apex and pinnacle of a healthy, functioning, spiritual society. Shabbat Shalom.